I'm Sam Garden from CBRE and we're on site to show you a rapidly emerging trend in the data center industry, prefabricated building units. Behind me you'll see the team putting together the finishing touches on the installation of a 1 megawatt tier 4 data center. Just 10 days ago this entire structure was on the floor of our fabricator and in two more days full commissioning of the building will begin. Right next to the new structure is an additional one megawatt unit that was completed just last year. It has been in full operation for the last 10 months and the client is ready to add additional capacity. The new structure being placed right next to the original and when complete, the space will be contiguous two megawatt data center. The advantages to this approach include faster deployment, easier expansion, greater customization, capital preservation, and predictable quality control. Let's check in with Curtis on the progress of the erection of the center core units. Hello, I'm Curtis Adams. I'm with Environmental Air Systems. I'm the Senior Project Manager for Center Core 2 projects. I oversee all the center cores that EAS has deployed to date. Environmental Air Systems started in 1953. We've progressed through custom air handlers, central utility plants, and now the data centers. It all spawns off of our off-site construction we can manufacture in parallel with the site work. So as soon as the site work is ready, we can begin deploying our center core units. We have shipped them from our manufacturing facilities in High Point, North Carolina. Then we load them on the trucks. We have 40 loads proper to set this facility out. We've got 6,000 square feet of white space, 14,000 square feet overall between the first and second levels. Let's go over to Jared and take a look at how the site preparations were made in advance of the building units showing up on site. So my name is Jared Morris and I was the uh, civil engineer of record for this project with Olson Associates. With this particular project there was a number of interesting unique things that we had to solve the problem with as it related to the center core units. When they're placed on the site we were heavily involved on the geotechnical assessment on the project which involved testing the soils to make sure that their bearing capacities were uh, adequate to support the loads of these center core units. Now let's meet with Brian, one of the on-site construction team members, to show how it's going. I'm Brian Grunemé with DPR Construction, project manager for the, the construction. So what we're seeing here is the final assembly of a 14,000 square foot, one megawatt modular build expansion to an existing tier four lead gold accredited mission critical facility. It's 30 units or boxes like you see sometimes coming down the highway, and they get bolted all together. It took about five months to fabricate off-site, it will take about 15 days to assemble fully on site to weather tight condition. The modular build method streamlines the supply chain management and standardizes the design to generate and build prefabricated modular units. This is generally beneficial to any fast track project delivery. So, what we're seeing over here with the crane, the crane is a Manitowoc 999 Series 3 275 ton crawler. The module units weigh anywhere between 16 and 35 tons, depending on the equipment that it's loaded with. And within each unit, nearly all equipment is pre-installed at the factory, then on site, bolted together, connected, made watertight, roofed, and the facility is ready to go. Let's get some feedback from Kevin, who owns and operates this facility. Hey, my name is Kevin McCulgan. I'm the owner and operator of the site for the Senecor. Um, the reason we went with this particular uh, build was because we can build in smaller uh, increments of capacity as we need it without overbuilding the site. This approach satisfies multiple needs in capital efficiency, energy efficiency, and capacity efficiency. We are expanding the principles of data center construction. Prefabrication is not new to the industry, but the industry has come a long way in terms of scale and complexity that can be achieved when incorporating into a project like this one. Modular build provides responsive capacity while preserving the stability, resilience, feel, and functionality of a traditional data center. And in an ever-changing industry, these become very important. Thank you for spending a few minutes with our project team and learning about CenterCore. We enjoyed giving you a peek into the new way for project delivery, one that delivers the owner the best of both worlds, a traditional construction process, and all the benefits of modular.